This animation represents what scientists think is the brightest object ever found in the universe and Australian astronomers discovered it. The name isn't very catchy, J0529-4351. But the quasar, an active and luminous core of a galaxy, consumes the equivalent of one of our suns each day. It's powered by the fastest growing supermassive black hole to be observed to date. And scientists say there's only a small chance it'll ever be beaten. This black hole has uh, about 15 to 20 billion times the mass of our sun. So this is almost 20% or a quarter of the mass of our entire Milky Way galaxy and it's concentrated in a very small space the size of the size of our solar system and then it's surrounded by what we call an accretion disk which is really sort of a, a giant storm cell with several light years of diameter and this storm cell is just a, a holding pattern for all the material it's going to devour. Finding it is like looking for a needle in a haystack. It's so far away. It took over 12 billion years for its light to reach Earth. When it was first detected in 1980, it was mischaracterised as a star. The matter pulled in by the supermassive black hole emits so much energy as it's ripped apart that it's more than 500 trillion times brighter than the sun. This outshines tens of thousands of galaxies just like the Milky Way. So this is this is 10,000 times brighter than our entire Milky Way. And a Milky Way is 100 billion stars. So this is one supermassive black hole versus 100 billion stars. And which one is brighter? All I can say is you can't bet against the supermassive black hole every time. The latest discovery was made by the ANU's Siding Spring facility in New South Wales and then verified by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. These findings have been published in the scientific journal Nature Astronomy and the research could help our understanding of the early universe. It allows us to see um, the very early stages of formation of, um, uh, of galaxies and their central black holes. We know nowadays that most of galaxies um, harbour um, in their centres very massive black holes, uh, but we do not know how exactly they were formed, how exactly they were accreting their matter to become so large and so on. And this is uh, quite a big uh, peculiarity and uh, curiosity for many astronomers, how exactly our um, universe got to happen in such a way that we can see and observe nowadays uh, these galaxies.